there, my name is Josie and I'm here today from the City of West Torrens as your youth librarian bringing you a teen book taster. I dropped in earlier but I dropped out with a techie issue so I'm back again and I hope you enjoy this session. First I'd like to say a really um, a big hello to everybody who's joined but also to pay my respects to the Ghana people whose land we meet on today. It is Reconciliation Week and I would like to pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging and thank the Ghana people for taking care of the land. Now without further ado, let's start Book Taster, take two. And I'm going to start today with a local author who's had a really exciting week. Yes, they had a book launch. Yes, it's so exciting for them. And I wanted to celebrate in my own way. Let's have a look. Lucid. Here it is, Lucid. Lucid by Christy Fairlamb. Well done, loved it. Now her new book Luminous was out this week, it's a sequel to this one. I really um, found this quite an interesting tale um, and thank you to Lakewater Press for this book. Um, Lucy, who's the main character, has a gift or what one might consider a curse in that she can actually see people in dreams who are in their last moments of life. So during their um, during her dreams, she sees what happens to them, and yeah, it's quite um, sad and horrific at the time that she's recalling the dreams. So there's sort of a paranormal element here: life in reality versus life in dream. And then there's another little plot twisted into it where. Lucy meets Tyler. Tyler is someone she finds in a dream and ends up becoming a real life friend slash romance with lots of kissing, I must say, kissing alert. And um, Tyler's relationship with Lucy helps her to see other possibilities for her powers. And there's a, a fantastic twist at the end. You'll need your tissue box. Uh, it's a really great read. So I recommend Lucid by um, Christy Fairland. Now, I don't get any endorsements from publishers or the authors. I'm just choosing books that I think you might like and also I've enjoyed. So let's have a look inside. Dreams are the door to the soul, although in my case, the door led to someone else's. Someone whose life just ended. My feet pounded the secluded dirt tracks on the edge of town as if I could stomp away my last nightmare. Blood rushed through me, the endorphins buzzing to the outer inches of my body. Why did she have to die? If she were five more metres down the road, the, ro the rock would have missed her. She was gone before she knew it. What happened? The only blessing in an otherwise senseless disaster. I stopped and hunched over, my hand resting on the rough tree trunk, battered, breathing in aching breathe out. I squeezed my eyes closed, trying desperately to rid my mind of the image. Thick auburn hair covered half her young face as she lay there. Blue eyes wide open, blood pooling and coating her cheek. I kicked the tree. Damn it! Get a grip, Lucy. I whispered into the tree. Seen it all before. So that's Lucy's world. How would you be if you could see the last moments of someone's life? Would you want to try and help? Mm, I bet you would. So thank you for that one, Lucid. Um, our next book today is The Dog Runner, and I've chosen this one as a bit of a dystopian fiction for you today. Um, nominated for the Children's Book Council of South Australia Book of the Year Award uh, for 2020 in its category. This one by Alan and Unwin and written by Bren McDibble, who also wrote How to Be, is a story of a future Australia where there is a crisis. So there's a fungus that grows and takes out all the grass and uh, this is the life they are stuck in now where there's no food, they're waiting on government support and members of their family are missing. So the 
main character is Ella and Ella and Emery have her brother have a big mission to try and find their mother and escape. They take the dogs, so it's called the Dog Runner, and it's their adventure story. So if you like a bit of an adventure and with a dystopian twist, you might like this one. Thanks to Alan and Unwin. Uh, the little uh, bit of start says, to all the kids who are not brave, but do brave things anyway. <clears throat> I open the door and push through the bouncing fur and licking tongues, rubbing each furry head hello and smooching my cheek into three big fluffy yowling doggo heads. Then I tell Dad what Albie Moore's gone and done to his door. He laughs and goes back to trying to stick some wires into an old hand crank from what used to be an electric bike. But there are so many bits in the kitchen table. I don't think it's ever going to spit out any electricity. The army, he's waiting for the army. Someone needs to tell that old man an army marches to its own stomach. So Australia's got no army, he says. Don't we gotta go and help him out, I ask. What if there's a fire? I'm not sure nailing the, dark, the door shut isn't such a bad idea. The world's upside down, baby bell. If we want to survive, we've got to figure out. How to walk on our heads? I shout, finishing it for him because he's said it so many times. How would you go if your world was t world's upside down? Could you walk on your head? Could you survive? Maybe you're like the dog runner. All right, here we are on our last book for today. And by where this is absolutely not the least. This is an amazing book. Can't recommend it highly enough. Catching Teller Crow. Now, Anne Boleyn and Ezekiel um, Quay Molina have written this together. So um, it's an amazing story um, based around a bit of a ghost story, I guess. Um, Hella, Beth Heller is, uh, she has died and so she's living in a ghost-like state helping her dad to go through that process of grief. They, he's a, a police officer and he's involved in a detective story I guess, um, trying to solve a crime which becomes a very big deal. So if you like something that's a little bit out of this world, you'll love this one. And it's a bit of a detective story, so you've got a mystery to solve. But there's also this amazing storytelling going on with the three voices of um, resilient, strong Aboriginal women, um, which is so very powerful in this book. Um, I really, I listened to this one on audiobook and actually read the book itself. We, in the library, we have got the audiobook, the main copy, and this one here, which is the dyslexic print, and they are amazing. I'd really highly recommend it. So this one, if I can find a little part. This one's also an Alan and Unwin, and it's won lots of different. Um, it's won the Victoria Premier Award last year, and it was on the Children's Book Council Notable list in 2019. Let's have a look. This wasn't how I'd imagined being dead. Not what I'd spent much time thinking about. Not that I'd spent much time thinking about it. But mum had died when I was a baby. And her two sisters, Auntie Viv and Auntie June, had always told me I'd see her again. Auntie June reckoned that mum was on the other side. Her husky voice echoed through my memory. This world's got lots of sides, like those crystals your auntie view hangs in her window, and her mum just on a different side to us. So I'd always figured that when I passed over to another side, mum would be there to meet me. She hadn't been, but I sometimes had a sense that she was waiting somewhere ahead. I'd be seeing her. I knew it. What I didn't know was exactly when. The when didn't matter so 
much though, since I didn't count minutes or hours anymore. Days began when the sun rose and ended when it set, in between the connections I made, like the ways I helped my dad, or I didn't help him, were what told me if I was moving forward or backwards. So that's um, Catching Teller Crow. I can't give away too much because it's um, a great read and you'll really enjoy the mystery you need to solve to understand this book. So I highly recommend this one. So today we've read Catching Teller Crow, The Dog Runner and Lucid. I hope you enjoy them. If you'd like to place them on hold, please do so. And we'd love to see you in the library sometime again. If you've got a favourite book you'd like to share with me, please leave me a comment. If you like the book taster idea, also leave me a, a thumbs up or a lower heart so I know that you're enjoying it. Until we see you next time, take care and read lots of books. See you later.